Uh, that's actually how I wrote Puzzling People as well. I didn't sit down with a framework. I literally started with the, the first page. I literally typed out the, what's on the forward, the forward, the introduction there. When the demon knocks at your door, I literally typed those words first. And the last words I typed were at the very end where I said, uh, you know, don't turn to drugs, alcohol, the rest of the world needs you as you are. And I literally went from beginning of the book to the end. It didn't, it was not written in stages at all, amalgamated at the end. And that's how, I think that's why the book is, is appealing to so many people and they're reading it two or three times, is because there's a, they're, they're, hearing, they're, they're hearing a story that as if I'd sat, a stranger sat down on a, train, a long train journey and you're the only two people on the train and they said, let me tell you about my life. And that's exactly how I wanted the book to be. Uh, and, and I think that's, that's, that's something I found when I was doing it incredibly powerful for me. I actually think I grew two inches from the beginning of that book to the end. I mean, if you look at the early videos of me on YouTube, before when I was starting to write the book and compare it to now, I'm a different person. I've actually, I've just, it's almost like all this negative energy is just, boom, has just gone out of me, you know, and, I'm, and that's, that's, that comes from being innovative and that comes from not adhering to the script. And that brings us right back to what you were saying about the law, because the law is there to stop us from having these boom, releases of there. Anxieties. No, it all comes full circle, doesn't it? Yes. It is. Yes. So amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's, it's, it's always the two points in the circle. You always come back to, to the end, you know? And this is uh, really interesting because it's only now that we have reached a technology stage where natural communication is possible again. Yeah, right? because uh, of course writing was invented uh, to make things more effective, to um, have a longer reach in time and space, um, and as such, it makes sense. Um, and the th same thing with uh, with news uh, media, right? The the purpose is to reach more people, right? So 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 it's not that th that this that that it's only bad it's just that its problem is that it it doesn't it, it's not real <laughs> it's narrative right it's like uh if if uh if a stand up comedian is 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 doing uh his stand up if he was doing that in a studio with no audience it's not as funny <laughs> he does not get a reaction from his audience and the same with the storyteller. He needs to see if the story is being received. Same thing with a record. When you play a song live in front of people, something happens. You're just taken away to a different place. Because you're it's with him. You're doing it together. You're doing it together. What's the, what's the Irish word for it? Um, in, in the bars. Crack? No, uh, Oh, what's it called when 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 the musicians meet and 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 do those jam sessions? It, it's kind of a session. Mm. Oh, it's just culturally. It's, yeah, I, I think it's got some. Uh, it's it's got a special word. Yeah. Anyways, the 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 point is that 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 jamming, right? The whole thing about just coming together and everyone can join in. Everyone can. Uh, join in the song, everyone can play their instrument if they got one. That is um, a whole... It's, it's, it's the real thing. It's not a record playing. It's not someone on a stage. I am participating. And you beautifully segued into a story I'm going to tell you. This is right before I go. It's the musical, the music, the traditional music festivals in town here this week, right? And every single year, since the 10, 11 years I've lived in this town, right, every single year, this elderly woman comes over from the United States. She lives in a retirement home from Florida. She's 92 years old now. She comes over for the music festival every year, American lady, and she plays the baron. The baron is that circular drum 
that you, it's very, it's a very, you know, you play, it's a difficult instrument to play, but you can get all the sounds of sort of a drum kit out of that, except the cymbals, depending on where you hit it. So, but she, she just, she, she's old, so she, she's not a professional player, but she joins in with the, this is what's good about these festivals, they have professional musicians with amateurs, and she just taps along to the rhythm, you know, to the beat. And I was talking to her last year when she was 91, and she says she's been coming for 20 years or something like that. 15, I don't know, it was a long time, 15, 20 years, I don't know. She said that every single year, the doctors tell her, do not go, this will be your last trip over. You, you won't make, you're too old, you won't make it back, right? And she's been told this to the same doctors for years. Not only has she lived longer than the people in that retirement home who came in years ago, you know, who'd come in at 65 and are dead at 67 or 68, she's not only outlived them, but she's outlived all the doctors at that place. <laughs> <laughs> and she says that when she comes over, she plays in those sessions, right? She plays the bar on, very simply, and then she goes back. She says she feels a year younger <laughs> when she left. And she'll be back next year, and she says the doctor will give her the same advice. And she says, banging that drum once a year is what keeps her alive, because it becomes the symbolic heartbeat that her elderly heart is losing. So she has transformed her her, you know, her biological pulmonary system with the banging of a drum, the banging of a goat skin. And in that, she hasn't verbalized it this way, this is my interpretation, she has created an, alche an alchemical pathway between the, 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 the sort of osmosis effect of her heart being transformed into this beating of this baron, and as a result, is giving her not only a longer life, but a better quality of life than the people who make fun of her because they uh, tell her that she's too old for it. And there's a lesson in that for all of us. And that's it's so funny you mentioned that because she's there tonight. I didn't see her last night, but I've seen, I saw her walking around the town with a drum case. 92 years old, and she's kept alive by once a year traveling 3,000 miles and banging a drum. And if that doesn't give you, that's, if that's, that's not an insight into the power, power of the human spirit, then nothing is. And that's what the psychopaths are trying to kill. And that's what, and that mentality and that approach is the reason why we're going to beat them. And that's that's a cow, you you can have that signed by me because when you see the human spirit manifesting in a way like that, you know that we are indestructible. And that's that that's ultimately is what's pissing the psychopaths off and why they're trying to bring us down.